Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. We've got several questions that came up, and I'd like to uh, address them. So we'll do it one at a time. And uh, the first question that uh, that was brought up was the um, the idea of the the weighted foot. So, in other words, we um, spend most of our time like doing an in a Taiji form, where one foot or the other is um, has more of our weight on it, and so there's a we have a tendency we tendency to to have the uh, uh, one foot or the other being the dominant one. And we, I like to speak of it in terms of substantial and insubstantial. That is, which one has more substance, which one has more fixity or uh, ability to hold its place, uh, uh, density. So that's that something is more substantial, like if it has more density, if it's more fixed in space and time. And so the, if we're thinking of, of which foot has, uh, I will stand up for this one. So the, um, let us say that I have uh, my right foot forward and my, my weight is predominantly in my back foot. So in this one, my back foot is the weighted foot. So it's, it's the one that is more substantial. That is, it is, it is fixed, it is more fixed, it is as more of my attention on it. I'm using it as a, as a, my structural support. My right leg is extended forward and it's preparing to do whatever it's gonna do, but the, the left leg is the substantial one. So now if I feel the ball of my right foot and I push my knee forward, and I release my quad and I start to sink down into that front leg by releasing the quad and I turn. So now I have about 70% of my weight in my front leg now, my right leg, and 30% of my left. So my front leg is the weighted leg. It's the substantial one. And by comparison, my left leg is the insubstantial one. And so throughout the Taiji form, throughout everything we do in life, there is this interplay between insubstantial and substantial. And every, in, you know, the, one of the things, one of the beautiful things uh, in the classic, they talk about every, in, every point of insubstantial has its, uh, is, its substantial and every insubstantial, every substantial has an insubstantial. So they, like yin and yang, they contain each other. They are mutually arising. And it's just where we are putting our attention at the moment. So if I have my, weight, my foundation, my structure is dependent on my right leg. Therefore, it is the substantial leg. To differentiate between that and, and yin and yang, so the question came up is, which one is yang and which one is yin? And it's an entirely different question than substantial and insubstantial. The weighted leg can be substantial or insubstantial yin or yang. So right now, uh, my attention is on my, my, my right leg. And so it is my yang, because that is where I'm getting that. That's the business end of what I'm doing right now. It's doing the work and it's, it is yang. So therefore, it's an extension outward into, into the world. And the back leg is more yin because it is, it is retreated both in terms of position and in terms of my attention. But my right leg is still remains substantial. But as I reach forward with my left foot, it then becomes yang. So my right leg, just by shifting and reaching out with my left foot, my right leg remains substantial, but it's also yin now. So it's yin because I'm reaching out, say I'm kicking with, with the, the left foot or whatever. It's, so it is the yang foot now, even though it is, it is less substantial. So there's, it's less substantial, but, but there's more of a, uh, 
uh, there's it's it's extending outward. So therefore, it is young. So the way I like to think about it, and this can be argued, and I'm happy to entertain other opinions on it, but the uh, the yin and yang is always a condition of substantiality. It's like it's always something we're talking about where we're talking about it something in a it's talking about stuff insubstantiality is talking more about non-stuff so the more stuff there is then the direction it's heading is the is its substantiality or uh, it's uh it's yin and yang so that's that's the uh that's the uh, explanation that i have for that and that's the way i use the terms and it allows me to differentiate allows me to differentiate between how much stuff is there and what direction is it headed. Is that, uh, does that make sense, Valerie? We're good? Good. Rick, Richard. Um, I, I just have to throw in a little editorializing. Uh, Rick, yeah. that, was, that was the best explanation of substantial and substantial yin and yang that I have ever heard. Uh, please Wonderful. try to please try to codify that, especially your example. It was really terrific. That's Wonderful. an elusive you. concept. You did it. That's fantastic. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Cool.